it's Mrs. Bunker back to finish our Dinosaurs Before Dark story by Mary Pope Osborne. It's the very first of the Magic Treehouse series, and I really enjoyed reading it to you. Um, if you missed the, the first eight chapters, make sure you click below um, to the Star YouTube channel, get caught up, and come back and join us for the end um, of this wonderful adventure story. So chapter nine, The Amazing Ride. The Pteranodon coasted down to the ground. He stared at Jack with his bright, alert eyes. What was Jack supposed to do? Climb on? But I'm too heavy, thought Jack. Jack looked at the Tyrannosaurus. It was starting up the hill. Its giant teeth were flashing in the sunlight. Okay, thought Jack. Don't think. Just do it. Jack put his book in his pack. Then he climbed onto the pteranodon's back. He held on tightly. The creature moved forward. He spread his wings and lifted off the ground. Jack nearly fell off as they teetered this way and that. The pteranodon steadied himself and rose into the sky. Jack looked down. The tyrannosaurus was staring up at him and chomping the air. The pteranodon glided away. He sailed over the hilltop and over the valley. He circled above all the duck-billed dinosaurs and all the nests filled with babies. Then the pteranodon soared out over the plain, over the triceratops, who was grazing in the high grass. Jack felt like a bird. The wind was rushing through his hair. The air smelled sweet and fresh. Jack whooped and laughed. He couldn't believe it. He was riding on the back of an ancient flying reptile. The pteranodon sailed over the stream and over the ferns and bushes. Then he carried Jack down to the base of the oak tree. When they came to a stop, Jack slid off the creature's back and landed on the ground. The pteranodon took off again and glided into the sky. Bye, Henry, called Jack. Jack, are you okay? Annie shouted from the treehouse. Jack pushed his glasses into place. He kept staring at the pteranodon. Jack, Annie called. Jack looked up at Annie. He smiled. Thanks for saving my life, he said. That was really fun. Thank Henry, not me, said Annie. Come on, climb up. Jack tried to stand. His legs were wobbly. He felt a bit dizzy. Hurry, shouted Annie. It's coming. Jack looked around. The Tyrannosaurus was heading straight toward him. Jack bolted to the ladder. He started climbing. Hurry, hurry, screamed Annie. Jack reached the top and scrambled into the treehouse. It's coming toward the tree, Annie cried. The dinosaur slammed against the oak tree. The treehouse shook like a leaf in the wind. Jack and Annie tumbled into the books. Make a wish to go home, cried Annie. We need the book, the Pennsylvania book, said Jack. Where is it? They both searched madly around the treehouse. Found it, said Jack. He grabbed the book and flipped through the pages. He found the photograph of the Frog Creek Woods. Jack pointed to the picture in the book. I wish we could go home, he shouted. The wind began to blow. Jack closed his eyes. He held on tightly to Annie. The treehouse started to spin. It spun faster and faster. Then everything was still. Absolutely still. Chapter 10 home before dark. Jack heard a bird singing. He opened his eyes. He was still pointing at the picture of the Frog Creek Woods. He peeked out the treehouse window. Outside, he saw the exact same view as the picture in the book. We're home, whispered Annie. The woods were lit with a golden late afternoon light. The sun was about to set. No time had passed since they left Frog Creek. Jack! Annie! A voice called from the distance. That's mom, said Annie. Jack saw their mother far away. She was standing in front of their house. She looked tiny. Annie! Jack! She called. Annie stuck her head out the window and shouted, Coming! Jack still felt dazed. He just stared at Annie. What? happened to us, he said. We took a trip in a magic tree house, said Annie simply. But it's the same time as when we left, said Jack. Annie shrugged. 
How did it take us so far away, said Jack, and so long ago? You looked at a picture in a book and said you wished we could go there, said Annie, and the magic tree house took us there. But how, said Jack, and who built this magic tree house? Who put all these books in here? A magic person, I guess, said Annie. Oh, look, said Jack, I almost forgot about this. Jack reached into his pocket and pulled out the gold medallion. Someone lost this back there, he said, in dinosaur land. Look, there's a letter M on it. Annie's eyes got round. You think M stands for magic person? She asked. I don't know, said Jack. I just know someone went to that place before us. Jack! Annie! Their mother called again. Coming! Annie shouted again. Jack put the gold medallion back in his pocket. He pulled the dinosaur book out of his pack and put it back with all the other books. Then he and Annie took one last look around the tree house. Goodbye, house whispered Annie. Jack slung his backpack over his shoulders. Annie started down the rope ladder. Jack followed. Seconds later, they hopped onto the ground and started walking out of the woods. No one's going to believe our story, said Jack. So let's not tell anyone, said Annie. Dad won't believe it, said Jack. He'll say it was a dream, said Annie. Mom won't believe it, said Jack. She'll say it was pretend. My teacher won't believe it, said Jack. She'll say you're nuts, said Annie. We'd better not tell anyone, said Jack. I already said that, said Annie. Jack sighed. I think I'm starting not to believe it myself, he said. They left the woods and started up the road toward their house. As they walked past all the houses on their street, the trip to dinosaur time did seem more and more like a dream. Only this world and this time seemed real. Jack reached into his pocket. He clasped the gold medallion. He felt the engraving of the letter M. It made his fingers tingle. Jack laughed. Suddenly, he felt very happy. He couldn't explain what had happened today, but he knew for sure that their trip in the magic treehouse had been real absolutely real. Tomorrow, Jack said softly, we'll go back to the woods. Of course, said Annie. And we'll climb up to the treehouse, said Jack. Of course, said Annie. And we'll see what happens next, said Jack. Of course, said Annie. Race you. And they took off together, running for home. The end. Thank you so much for going away with me for a little adventure back to the time of the dinosaurs. Um, I hope you'll join me for the next Magic Treehouse book, which will be The Night at Dawn. So I look forward to reading that with you.